Hello, darling. Don't be shy. I promise not to bite until we've been formally introduced. My name's Astarian, and I've spent a century stalking the night, hunting for pretty morsels just like you. A man called Cazador made me what I am, kept me like a pet, forced me to do his bidding. No more. Since I was born in the cold reaches of world space, I have known but one purpose. To wield a silver sword and ride a red dragon in service of my regent, the Githyanki Queen Vlakith. My first step on this path is to slay a Mind Flayer and bring its head to my queen. There is no flesh I will not carve, and no barrier I will not shatter to see it done. Well met, stranger. You find yourself in the presence of the renowned wizarding prodigy, Gale of Waterdeep. Please, no need to be intimidated. My virtuosic talents once caught the eye of the goddess of magic herself, Mistra, who named me her chosen and her lover. My name is Shadowheart, loyal servant of Shah, goddess of darkness and loss. There is little more I can tell you than that. My Lady Shah tasked me with a mission of such secrecy that I surrendered great swathes of my memory in order to safeguard the knowledge of it. All I know is that I must bring the artifact I hold to Baldur's Gate, and that nothing can stand in my way. Seven years ago, I was exiled from Baldur's Gate, the city I call home. My name is Will. But the people of the Sword Coast call me the Blade of Frontiers, champion of the meek, defender of the innocent. The truth isn't quite so simple, but they're right about one thing. I hunt monsters, and I always catch my prey. Ten years ago, I was sold to the Archdevil Zariel. She put a Hellfire engine in my chest and made me her prized soldier. But I've escaped now. Thank you, Mind Flayers. And I've got a few scores to settle. If this engine doesn't burn me to ash first, I'll need people I can trust. An infernal mechanic, and a serious amount of luck. Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise, and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though, Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Mm. A Harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, <laughs> that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? A true soul in such a grotesque form. The Absolute has a place in her heart even for death here. Her heart is more generous than mine. Join my hunt. Fairy, and obey me. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. You are like the digits of a hand. It is for you to act, not to decide. You serve the Absolute. You serve me. Bow, you dog. Bow! You have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. 
You'll need to bleed and carve this city if you want to turn him to grave meat. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. To dark an alliance sealed with Zentish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. Do you think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about. But we shall simply... Ooh. Why do you know at my soft parts? I am trying to... Once again, in smaller words? I was once a servant of the Grand Design. Now I'm a slave to theirs. But you... You are the flaw in their design. The single thread that could unravel everything they've planned. I'm glad you came. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. The ecstasy of agony, the pain of the damned, Stilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death writ large. Smile, and I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. Or don't, and know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. Thank you.